In my first video using the Discovery Solo Sportsman, the 119, uh, y'all know that I had found kind of like one issue and it was this line right here, this cord. If you see right here, I'm not sure if it's gonna come in the camera, but you can see that cord. It kind of blocks your rod from being able to go down. Old Town has sent me out a quick fix for it and it's actually genius because it's super simple. We're gonna take this little clip right here. Hopefully y'all can see that. And there is a small plastic nut down there. Let's put the action hat on. Uh, actually, that's not gonna work here. I'm gonna try to get y'all the best angle possible to get down in here and fix it. So what I'm doing is just putting this little clamp to keep it out of the way and then put it right here on this bolt right there and then you use the plastic nut that caps it and then just tighten it down it is that simple so now we're ready to go this will keep us from it'll keep that line from actually hitting underneath there and the seat and everything is still going to be able to work to recline yesterday we did the marsh and it's doable you can get out there it is the perfect craft to literally grab and go and this right here is perfect for it this is a small body of water right here and it's uh, linked up with a small bit of marsh so hopefully we'll tangle up with some reds and flounder and maybe a trout so we'll get this thing pushed inside the water and get to fishing let's launch it's pretty simple if i were here alone this canoe weighs next to nothing uh, speaking of weight the uh, specs for this thing it weighs approximately 54 pounds it's able to carry i think like 350 pounds or something like that it's 11 foot 9 inches long hence the discovery 119 11 9. the beam is about 32 inches somewhere around there i know it's 30 for sure but this guy go, it, it gets up in boogies not bad and uh, who'd have thought i would have actually taken a liking to a canoe old town you guys got a winner right here did you bird nest it or backlash it uh oh we got him there we are i hope i'm recording <laughs> probably but guess what i got him first because you're messing with a backlash oh it's a tiny little flatty we pick up where we left off yesterday i was just telling my son that this is a really good area and boy he choked it oh son you got you have my uh, forceps. I, I need your help. Get in the boga because they have a habit of clamping down on your lure when you're trying to get them undone. And the boga just helps them to keep their mouth open. You have yours, right? Uh, yeah, I've got fire. Okay. Look at that right in the top of the mouth, just like it was a crappie. Crappie lures catching saltwater fish just never gets old look at that right there that is a beautiful 12 incher we're gonna put this fella right back inside the water good my my little flat buddy here we go push polling something that I thought I'd never do in a canoe fairly simple I mean this thing really glides across the water really easy look at the mullet nice finger mullet that's a good sign I could imagine like mounting a power pole to this putting a rudder on it <laughs> turning a canoe into a kayak that's basically what I would be doing we've been push pulling for about a mile and I have yet to see any reds much less sheep's head Plenty of mullet out here. 
Man, you know what? I almost forgot that I'm doing this in a canoe. It is crazy how stable this thing is. It just took a little while for me to gain confidence in this platform, but it's plenty stable. Just spread your feet out as far as you can right up against the sides and you got plenty of stability to just do this and concentrating on the task at hand while you're push pulling and that is just to scan the grass line up ahead and see if you can find any fish i'm hoping all of this wasn't for nothing the good thing is that the wind will be at our back so paddling is not going to be hard we'll drift with it whenever i get tired Oh yes, look at this, and it's another baby flatty. I was just here thinking to myself and saying that I'm not going to catch anything, but I may as well continue casting. And this is why you keep doing it, to catch these little guys because they're just here to say, uh, you're not alone. Alright, there we go. Beautiful little flat guy. Man, I have put in some miles. I got tired of push pulling and not seeing anything, so I just sat down and let the wind drift me. I have really put in the miles today. To get that little fella right there, <laughs> it was not for nothing. This thing is magnificent. I mean, you can just drift and kind of hit that portion of the bank that you want. We're trying to fish our way back to the launch and I'm in a seven mile an hour headwind now. It's just making it a little bit difficult because as soon as I'm, I'm gonna stop paddling, the wind will just catch us and it's gonna turn us sideways. So not having a rudder, that's the only difference from a kayak that I notice uh, over this canoe. There's no rudder. I know that if the canoe was a lot longer, then yes, it would have a little bit of a better chance tracking straight. But being that this fella is almost 12 feet, uh, it turns instantly. So I try to get some forward momentum going. Here we are. We got that forward momentum going. And then I'll try to get it straight. Put the paddle down really fast. <laughs> Make the cast and retrieve hopefully before a gust hits us and starts to turn us the way it is right now. But that's what you've got to do whenever you're going into a headwind. And if y'all can figure anything else out aside of doing that so that I don't have to anchor or use a drift sock, y'all let me know what the trick is because I'm still learning how to use a canoe and uh, I'm not used to paddling. I'm used to being able to hold my rod and reel and troll with a pedal drive and constantly fish. I'm not used to this right here. It's doable because I'm doing it, but I'm not used to it. And just like that, everybody, the day has come to an end. It was a very quick one. Uh, I would say, like, give myself an excuse and say it was only to test the canoe but in all honesty, I mean, it was a little of both. I want to test the canoe in small water, see how it does. But I was honestly trying my best to catch fish. And this little seven mile an hour wind has just caught me at my wits end. But it doesn't matter because the launch is right up ahead. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, final thoughts for the old town discovery 119 solo sportsman that is a very long name this canoe it's got what it takes to get you out on the water it's very stable i push pulled for approximately two miles and uh, it was good so there's no doubt in my mind that if i were to take it and launch in the marsh or drag it behind my kayak and like launch in the marsh why would i do that i don't know but if I was to do that, uh, this thing can like hold its own out there. Uh, if it had a rudder, like some type of stationary rudder, something that Old Town could design because behind me in the back, it's got the same handle. 
if you could figure out a way to like mount a stationary rudder that will help with your tracking ability and it will work wonders whenever you're push pulling but overall it's a great platform to fish from it's super cheap i think the msrp is right around 800 dollars and it's got a gear track to set anything up there that you can possibly put on it i got my plier holders rod holder they did that little fix that they sent me earlier that i showed y'all so you got the same thing on this side a little tray to let your lures kind of dry and uh you'd be on the water really quick it is super light like 54 pounds amazing little canoe and for it being my first one i'm pretty impressed because i never thought that i would be caught dead inside one of these things just goes to show what you don't know uh you don't know until you try all right i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click that thumbs up button until next time tight lines y'all We're full on race mode. Loser buys. Can I beat the Hobie? Can I beat the Hobie? Boy, this little thing can go. <laughs> I'm winning. I'm winning. No fair. <sighs> Leg muscles are just way stronger. There's no way. Holy cow, this little thing can go though. <laughs> that was very impressive.